Hello from Jonathan and from me, welcome to the programme. First, they took to the streets in their hundreds to mark their return from Afghanistan. But even as the Royal Anglians began a week of homecoming parades across our region, the Prime Minister was spelling out his hopes of ending British involvement in the conflict as soon as possible. Thousands turned out to salute the 1st Battalion as they marched through Huntington earlier today. And right now they're parading through Cambridge, which is where we can join our reporter Emma Baker. Emma. Yes, as you say, Jonathan, this is one of five parades going on around the region this week. As you can see behind me, about to walk past me, the 1st Battalion of the Royal Anglian Regiment, a chance for the soldiers there to celebrate their achievements and also an opportunity for the general public to show their support. But, of course, every single one of the soldiers who's about to walk past me today will be only too aware about the growing unrest surrounding the conflict in Afghanistan. Indeed, there are some reports there will be some anti-war protesters making their voices heard here this evening. Uh, the death toll at the moment, as it stands, the number of British soldiers who have lost their lives in Afghanistan stands at 295 of those that is five members of the 1st Battalion of the Royal Anglian Regiment who lost their lives in the last tour of duty and as that death toll rises there are an increasing number of people who are asking how much longer do our troops have to be out in Afghanistan for many of these soldiers it was a highlight of their military careers for friends, families and supporters, today's homecoming parade in Huntingdon was a moment of immense pride. This is the first homecoming parade in Huntingdon since 1955. For members of the 1st Battalion of the Royal Anglian Regiment, it is a rare chance to celebrate their achievements. For the people here, it's an opportunity to show their support for their local soldiers. <laughs> local soldiers like 23-year-old William Wells. It was awesome. Best feeling, best feeling I've ever had. It's just... So happy to be back. For William's mum, there was only one word to sum up her emotions. Joy. Joy that he's come home safe. The 1st Battalion, the Royal Anglians, have just returned from a third tour of duty in Afghanistan, a tour in which five of its soldiers were killed. Today's events in Huntingdon and Cambridge mark the start of a week of parades. On Wednesday, Ely plays host to a march and service in the cathedral. On Thursday, 200 troops will march through South End, and on Friday, 100 soldiers are in Norwich. No! The parades come as the war in Afghanistan is being put under increasing scrutiny. Last week, David Cameron made his first visit to the country since becoming Prime Minister. The Afghan people do not want foreign forces on their soil any longer than necessary, and the British people are rightly impatient for progress. Mm. Our forces will not remain in Afghanistan a day longer than is necessary, and I want to bring them home the moment it is safe to do so. Despite the debates surrounding the conflict, those marching in Huntington today were quick to distance themselves from the politics. We are servants of the government, um, and we're, you know, we're essentially going to do the job um, which they asked us to do. You know, there is a very, very real job to be done in Afghanistan, um, and um, I think if you spoke to every member of my battalion who served there, they would be able to tell you about the, sort of, you know, the green shoots of hope which they've been able to uh, um, see uh, as, as a result of their progress um, and um, their hard work out in Afghanistan. People in Huntingdon may not have seen eye to eye with the politicians, but they were fully behind the soldiers. We should be very proud of them. You know, and it's, um, they do it right. The soldiers do it right. The politicians do it wrong. They're doing a good job. They're doing it for us. It makes me very emotional. Yes, I'm very proud of them. Can't walk out halfway through and leave the place, you know, in a mess. So they've got to carry on, haven't they? But let's hope it ends soon, very soon, for the sake of all of these boys. The debate about Afghanistan rumbles on. Many of these soldiers will want to concentrate solely on the job in hand. It's a job that could prove tougher than ever over the next few months. Well, back to Emma, and as you can see, the homecoming parade is quite a spectacle behind you there. Um, do you think we're likely to see an end to these in the near future? I have to say, Becky, I think the short answer to that is no. While David Cameron today did make clear that he didn't want the troops to be out there for any longer than is necessary, he also said he was determined that the British troops should not, as he put it, cut and run. Now, he said the British troops will stay out in Afghanistan for as long as is needed. And how long that is, of course, is anyone's guess. But, of course, talking to people in Huntington today and here in Cambridge, there are many people who would say that should be sooner rather than later. Indeed. Emma Baker, thank you very much for that.